Hi guys, Marie here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup that I'm doing right now. If that makes sense. So yeah, we're gonna hop right into it. Okay, so when I start off with my makeup, I like to do a clean base on my face. So I like using the deep clean, uh... Micellar water from Neutrogena, and then I put it on a, a little bit on a cotton pad, not my hand, but I accidentally got on my hand. So that's fun. And then I kind of just like rub it around my entire face. And then I take some moisturize moisturizer. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Um, I absolutely love this. Uh, so I usually get a heavy amount because my face is dry. I almost dropped it. Uh, and then I just like apply it a little bit. Oops. Didn't go anywhere. And I just apply it and then just like blend it in. Okay, so after I rubbed in all the moisturizer, I like to go in with primer. And I didn't really use primer up, to, up till a year ago because I didn't really think it like worked or like did anything. So now I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Love this stuff. It's better than the Tatcha. I tried that one, the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Love this one. It's really cheap. So I just like press it in and then... Yeah, I basically do that into my entire face. Um, it's really self-explanatory, but there's a major difference. I mean, I I can see it in my mirror. But, um, yeah. So I'm just going to apply this like I really would, just like pressing it into my skin. And we'll be good to go. So I have three favorite foundation that I like to use on a daily basis. Um, right now, today, I'm going to use the Superstay Full Coverage by Maybelline. I love this one, as you can tell. Um, this is in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. I also love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, medium to full coverage. Don't really support Too Faced, but um, this foundation is bomb. So, yeah. Um, and also the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Literally love this stuff. It's a little too dark for me right now because it's um, April and um, didn't really get a tan yet. So, but definitely I'll be doing this in the summer. So yeah, now I'm gonna do the Super Stay Foundation because it's actually my color. Might not be right now, but it blends in really good. So yeah, we're just gonna pump this on my face. Okay, so I did a little bit on my hand. Um, so I'm going to take my really ugly looking beauty sponge and we're just going to tap a little bit on and then, okay, it might not look like the right color, but it is so full coverage. It's like unbelievable. And yeah, also there's a little bit of hair dye on my face um, because I just dyed my hair a little bit lighter. Um, so I did not make quarantine without dyeing my hair. So that kind of stinks. But you know what? It's okay. Um, and then I just like put foundation on my face where I like really needed the most. Look, it pretty much covered that. So it is full coverage. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. I don't really do ColourPop like drugstore. But it is, it's not high end. It's like middle end. I just made words up. But I it's, it's bougie and I like it. So yeah. I'm just going to put the rest of this on my face. As you can tell, it's very full coverage. It hides all my red and acne and my discoloration. So that's fun. And it doesn't look that drying. So I'll be back. Okay, so we have a little bit of problem. I dyed my hair lighter, as I told you already. Um, The only brow pencil... Because I completely ditched the brow pomade from Anastasia. It was good when I liked my brows, but some days I didn't because they weren't the same shape. So that was fun. So I bought this ColourPop pencil. Uh, love it. But it's dark brown. My hair really isn't dark brown anymore. So um, this will be a challenge. 
So I'm just gonna fill them in as lightly as I can. So this is gonna be fun. And they're both weird shapes. So I'm just gonna start at the tail. Oh, also, I accidentally dyed the some of my eyebrow. So, oops. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do concealer. Um, this is a little too light for me, but you know it's okay. We're gonna work with it. Uh, this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade. I honestly have no idea. Fair 20N. There we go, because it's very hard to read. Since this is like way too light for me, I just like drag it so there's less product on the thingy. And then I just use some dots under my eyes because uh, this product goes a long way. A little bit on my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and just a little bit there. And then we blend with the same sponge, this crusty sponge. I mean, I like this concealer as well. It definitely goes pairs well with the moisturizer, tinted moisturizer. And it's very subtle, so I mean, it's fine. And then I just blend everything else in. So now it's powder time. Um, I okay. Absolutely love the Fenty Beauty stuff is a bomb. It literally makes your skin so fresh looking and smooth. Absolutely love this. This is in the shade Butter. Um, it also comes with like a stopper thingy majiggy. I don't know what it's called. I just call it a stopper thingy majiggy because I think I'm smart. So I pour a little bit in the cap. Um, I'm not doing coke. I swear. And then I put a little bit on the same crusty, dusty sponge. I know I need to get a new one. So, and then I don't really bake. I just like press it in underneath where I put the concealer. And then I put a little bit more. And then I actually like press it in my foundation to make it look smooth. And then a little bit on my eye lid. And... It's smoothing. Like, it's smoothing. It's fabulous. I used to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. It was okay. But then I bought this one. $32, I think. It's honestly not that bad powder because I bought this a while ago. I still have a lot of powder in here. And I don't wear as much makeup as I used to. Like, when I... Went to my old school. I moved schools, by the way. Um, I used to wear makeup, full face of makeup every day. Now I can't. I mean, we're in quarantine, of course. Okay, so now it's um, bronzer time. I don't do contour because I don't know how to contour right. So um, I use the Milani uh, Illuminating Face Powder in the shade 01 Amber Nectar. I've been using this for a while. You can't really tell. But I just swirl this brush into it a good amount and I just do that it's very soft and like yeah it's gentle and I do my double chin to like yeah I don't know what I'm doing anymore and then I do the around the perimeters of my face to snatch that forehead. I mean, that looks dirty right now. But I do go in with my powder puff. Why the fuck did I just say powder puff? Oops, I swear again. Oops. Um, my beauty sponge. Yeah, and I do have a lot of baby hairs. Oh. 
Dude, I look so white right now. Like, oh my god. And then I get the tip with it just a little bit. And I do my nose. Just the ever most lightliest because my nose is huge. And that's usually what I do. Soft. It's fresh and it's cool. Okay, so I moved in just a little bit so I can do eyeshadow, but um, before I do eyeshadow, I set the base with um, the Milani Make It Last. I'm literally on my third bottle right now. I need to get more because this is the bomb. I hate that hair. Don't get bangs. Thank you. Um, so for eyes, that's why I moved in closer, of course. Um, I used to not do eye primer. I didn't really believe in primers. But I tried the Urban Decay Primer Potion and now I'm like hooked. But like I'm running out. <laughs> so it sucks because this is only the mini size. So I put a little bit on my eyelid. Trust me, eye primers make a difference if it's a good one. Like some eye primers work. I Okay, I only tried a couple. I forget. I mean that with primers too. Some of them are like hit or miss. And then I just like blend it in. Okay, so for eyes today, we're going to be using the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills. Love the packaging, by the way. Um, my mirror is a little messy, but I love the color scheme. It's really pretty. So I'm going to be using doing a black. I'm meant to say brown. It's not a smoky eye, but it's, it's pretty. I think it's pretty. This is the first look I did with it. So yeah, we're just going to go right in. Okay, so the first color we're going to dip into is Credit. It's kind of like a dark brown on my Morphe M441. Um, first Morphe brush, actually. So, yeah. I'm just going to tap it into the outer V. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing. But I haven't done this look in forever. I get that line. I don't know why I get that line. So that's fun. Yeah, I'm just going to pack this on until it is at... It looks crazy. It's going to look crazy and that's okay. Um, So I'm going to do one eye and then I'm going to do the other eye primer. Um, Because we don't have time for doing two eyes at once. Two guys. I meant eyes. I don't know if I said eyes or guys. I'm just gonna roll with it. So I'm just gonna do that to my other eye. I'll be back. We look crazy, but you know what's okay. So we're gonna take this wet and wild brush. Very old, but it's okay. It's actually a really good blending brush. Just letting y'all know. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna blend the outside and like blend in a little bit. I do different types of motions. I do windshield wiper motions. And then I do like circles. Whatever needs to happen, I do. Why is there glitter? Oh! I forgot I blended glitter with this brush. Oops. I'm trying to make it look blended, but there's not a light enough color. Okay, we're gonna use tempera this shade right there we're just gonna put it on the brush just a little bit we're just gonna blend it hopefully it's not too light and it actually blends kind of i mean this does have a little glitter in it if we're good for a glitter moment i guess okay that backfired so we're gonna just do raw sienna just a little bit and hope this works That looks kind of better. Kind of. We're just going to roll with it. And I'm just going to do the same thing to my other eye. Okay, so I blended it to the best of my ability. Um, You just got to work with them a little bit. I do love Anastasia. I think I have 
a lot of their palettes now. My first one was Norvina. I love that palette. Anyway, so now I'm going to be taking Soel. Uh, this shade right here, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to butcher it, so. I'm just going to take it on this Eco Tools brush. I don't know. I just use it for glitters and stuff. I don't cut my crease because I just don't. It's just weird for me. So I just put it. I'm just going to pack it on, I guess. But not going fully connecting here because I'm going to add um, Zam on it to like blend them together. So... right now and then um we're cleaning the brush on my hand now we have a glitter moment on your hand so i'm going to take the brush same brush tip it into zam just like yeah and we're just gonna put it in the middle of those two so they can like blend together and look pretty and then sometimes I go back into Soul. We're just gonna call it Soul because I don't, I seriously don't know how to pronounce it. And we're just gonna blend it a little bit together. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to uh, quickly set my face with the setting spray and then I'm gonna put some mascara on and then I'll be back on camera. I know I'm saying back on camera a lot, but I really don't want this video to be long because this is my first video back in. So I'll be back. So for the mascara, I use the Buxom mascara in Black is Black Lash Mascara. And then the Maybelline Falsies Lash. I do this one first and then this one and then this one on the bottom lashes. And now with highlighter time, my favorite part of the entire world. Uh, it's the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter on my Morphe M501. I think this is one that James uses. I put a little bit. There's something in my brush. On the bottom of it. I just hit the high point. I love this high. I love this highlighter. Not I love it. I do live for it though. It is a very nice color. It's just beautiful. She's so beautiful. Okay, so that's it for this glam. Get ready with me. Even though it is 8-12 at night now. On a Saturday. Also, yesterday was my birthday, so now I'm 16. So, eh. Uh, anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I have an actual phone now. I don't film on an iPod. So, hopefully the quality is better. So, yeah. I hope you guys have an awesome day, night, whenever time you're watching this, and I hope to see you soon.